Hello and welcome to 10 things you should know about the new Jeep Renegade. Number one, it's orange and Italian. The phrase they're using is designed by Jeep, made in Italy. And that's not a bad thing because Jeep needs smaller cars and Fiat happens to be very good at making small cars. It looks good, but you can probably see that for yourself. And more importantly, it's unmistakably Jeep, even though it's the first new car since the Italians took over. And I think it's the most stylish Jeep ever. Just saying. Style isn't the only thing that the Jeep engineers borrowed from Fiat's head office. There will be a 1.6 litre petrol engine available later this year, but this 1.4 litre turbo petrol is the one to have. It's much more powerful, very capable of moving this car around, and extremely quiet. But it's not a 4x4. There will be a 4x4 available later this year, but for now, you can only buy front-wheel drive Jeep Renegade. No, what you really want is pavement climbing ability. So you'll be glad to know that if you can never find parking outside that popular organic food market on a Saturday, you will be able to climb pavements of 25 centimeters. It's so nice to see a manufacturer having a bit of fun. Look at this attention to detail. A small little Willys Jeep in the window climbing a mountain. And if you follow me to the back, they've designed the tail lights so that they look like jerry cans. And then there is my favorite feature in the car, which comes standard, a little Yeti climbing a mountain. Right now, this limited edition launch model comes with many free things. This touchscreen infotainment system is standard and it's really quite good. It's got all the ports you need to plug in your devices. And if you do get hold of one of these limited editions, they'll throw in free sat nav, free leather upholstery, and those really nice chunky 18 inch wheels. A really nice touch is that you can see the rays on the bonnet while you drive and it makes you feel like you're driving a car which is much bigger. It's difficult to explain feel, but the Renegade feels solid, really solid. It might look cute, but it's very well made. The interior build quality is impressive, and even things like these roof racks, which look a bit plasticky, are really solid. They've gotten this right. Hmm. Pricing. It's not as affordable as I was hoping. The range starts at 340,000 Rand and this 1.4T limited launch edition comes in at 375,990. They do come though with a very good six year maintenance plan. I wasn't expecting to like this car, but I am impressed with it. For me, the size, the very good spec level, the decent engine and the very good looks almost justify that price tag, nearly. 